hey guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is okogene if today is the first time you're seeing this beauty <laughs> yeah my name is okogene you're welcome to my channel in this channel i make videos and sewing tutorials lifestyle vlogs and sewing techniques so you're welcome to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel so today i'll be teaching you how to cut a princess that was tear so if you don't know how to cut it if you want to draft a blouse if you want to draft a gown you want to draft a dress and you need to cut a princess that busty and you don't know how to go about it say no more i am here for you i'm going to teach you how to cut your princess that busty if you're intermediate beginners advanced this video is for you you can learn one or two things in this video if you're an advanced fashion designer but if you're a beginner yeah yeah you're welcome i'll be teaching you the simplest method and taking you along through this journey yeah so let's go over to the tutorial but first of all before we go over to the tutorial kindly subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button down below hit it down below and subscribe to my channel let's go back now to the tutorial bye so hey guys um in today's tutorial um so in today's tutorial we'll be needing just a piece of paper it's a brown paper a pattern paper we need your paper scissors um pen but i'm using the marker to draw the line so you can see but i'll use the pen to actually draft out and you also need your um measuring tape also you will need certain measurement which is like a normal basic body's measurement your shoulder your shoulder to bust point shoulder to under bust shoulder to waist um you need your arm all depth it's just basic uh, measurement so let's get starting so at this point at this point i would just like us to draw a straight line so this will serve as the base of the measurement so what next we are going to take is we are going to take the shoulder measurement for this we are using seven as the as the shoulder measurement and we will take one inch for the slope so what next we're going to take is at this point so this is where we're going to start our measurement from this line here so we'll take um, shoulder to both points which is 10 for this measurement then shoulder to under bust shoulder bust to shoulder to under bust is 12.5 then shoulder to waist is 15 so we just rule out the measurements So we'll read out the measurements and so we'll slant this we'll slant this so the next thing we i want to do is i want to use this um i want to use the marker to actually draw the lines out so you can see I need to use them so yeah yeah it's the boss point bp on the bust waist line right so shoulder shoulder line 
So what next we're going to take is, I don't know, this mark is actually flowing very well. What next we're going to take is the ham o depth for this, which is 7.5 for the ham o depth. So we'll draw a straight line and So we are connecting these lines. So let me draw this back again. Right. And then so I, I know that I can see this. So what we're going to do is we get the midpoint from here and uh, those midpoints will go in by half an inch or one inch depending on you to come to from the to form the curve but before then we will mark our show our bust divided by four so the bust divided by four here is eight is eight no sorry it's eight point five so it's eight point five so at this point we'll mark four oh sorry I think this is seven point five so let's get the midpoint So this is the midpoint. So at this point, we'll come in by half an inch. You can come in by one, depends on you. So now we're going to curve from this point in here and curve out. So like as you can see, But if you have your so like this you have curved so what next you're going to do is <clears throat> at this um, waist measurement you're going to take your nipple to nipple measurement and the nipple to nipple measurement here is four here is four Boss point nipple to nipple measurement four. So, what we are going to do is we're going to draw a straight line down from this point down. So we we'll draw a straight point. Then at this point, we take um, we take half an inch towards the folded part of your cloth, and one point five inch towards the side, the seams, the seam allowance side, or the side that you're joining, right? So at this point, we take half an inch, and at this point, we take one and half inch, and then we are going to draw it out right half inch 1.5 inch and we're going to draw it out so i've drawn um half an inch and 1.5 inch this line is the chest line so what next we're going to do is we need to come connect this line to the boss points and this line to the boss point so at this boss point you come in not go out you come in by one inch and then you mark the one inch right and then you connect this line to this point and 
with a straight line then from this point to this point with a curve line so let me show you this is with a straight line and then I don't know if you can see this is a curve line and this is a straight line so we are already getting it right don't forget you take your measurement and and then you take the dart measurement which is like half an inch and one inch and then you connect to this point so what next we're going to do now is we need to work on the armhole so we can connect it down to this point so we'll connect this point right from this point we'll connect it to this point with a curve you know how i do my stuff right i will have to do i will have to do dotted lines You have to do dotted line, right? So you have to do dotted line before I will not draw the line so you can see. So sure, I want to see if you can see the line, right? So what next we're going to do is at this point right we take half an inch and half an inch and we connect it to the bust point so we take half an inch here and half an inch here don't worry i'm going to use um the marker to show you right so we're going to curve this to this point and we're also going to curve this to this point. So now we extend this by one inch out. This is one inch. So we extend this line out by one inch. We extend it by one inch then at this point right we're going to take one inch you can take one inch you can take 1.5 but i'm taking one inch at this point so now i'm going to curve here to meet this point right i'll curve here to meet this point so i'm connecting this this line that is out I'm connecting this I'm connecting it as a curve right I don't know if you can see it so I'm connecting this as a curve not this point so this point So this is our new this is our new arm o right so let me join So I don't know if you can see it you can see that it's coming out nice so what we're going to do next is we're going to take the um, body measurement for this we have taken one inch so I will just extend it so at this point i'll just extend it and this is the the mark we did this is the normal bodies and this is the um, normal um bus divided by four mark 
and this is the one we extended so from here i'm going to just extend it by 2.5 and mark so for the under bust right you know we took two inch two inches right and the waistline is still going to do, do it's still going to be the same thing sorry so for the waistline the waist is 7.5 that's the waist the waist the waist is seven sorry the waist is seven plus two inch which is this that which is nine and then you can add the allowance as you deem fit so this is the measurement nine then i want to add um two inch making it or 2.5 I want to add 2.5 and then I will just join the lines together. I don't know if you can see it, right? I've joined it together. So what next we're going to do right now is we are going to cut the line. We are going to cut the line this point is not needed right so you're going to just cut along the line this point is not needed the that that is here you have already add, you have added it to the to the cloth so let's go ahead and cut the line so we didn't add we didn't do the neckline i'm sorry um i just noticed it when i was about cutting so let's make the neckline 3.5 right 3.5 by 4 so right so this is it taken it to make this point so what we are doing next is we are cutting along the lines so you are going to this eye is going to look like boss point to boss point i don't know if you can see it so this eye is looking like right let me bring it closer right so this eye is going to look like there's a there's the front so you're going to fold it into two and mind you there are certain allowance i didn't add here I didn't add, I just, this is a pattern paper. So when you're cutting on your clothes, you know you're going to add your sewing allowance. The thing, the, the allowance you're going to use to join. I just replicated the dots here and I added it, right? And I added some inches. But if you're sewing, add your, you can just add just the dots and your normal sewing allowance you do. So if you're doing one inch for sewing and two inch for the normal allowance, you can just add, instead of adding 2.5, you can just add three and three, right? okay so let me go ahead and and let's draft the back pattern so this is for the front let's draft the back pattern so for the back i've actually drafted the same thing but the back i didn't do shoulder to on the balls i just did um uh, shoulder i took 1.5 inch for zip allowance so this is zip allowance and this is the bust point this is the waistline this is the chest line and just the armhole so at this point i'll just curve to meet here you don't really need to take half an inch for this one point so what next we're going to do is we are going to take the bust line we're going to take the bust measurement um and add two inch so which is like 10.5 I will mark it here then the waist is seven seven plus seven plus two 
Okay, because we are going to take one inch for that. So 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So we are going to take... We are going to take 10 here. And then what we are going to do is we'll connect... This is 8.5 plus 2, 10.5. This is 7 plus, which is 9. But we are adding 1 inch for the darts. And we'll just roll this out just like this. Connect it like so, as you can see. So what next we're going to do is we need to take the dart measurement. So the dart measurement is, normally I do take 4, but because of the... Um, that we take 4.5 we mark 4.5 here and at this bus point we'll mark 4.5 and then we'll draw we'll draw a straight line out and then we'll take one inch upward and mark here and also connect this line to that one inch upward so at this point we'll be taking half an inch on both sides so half an inch half an inch right so let me read this one half an inch out you can see and then we'll connect this as you can see so what next we're doing we're almost done with the back pattern so what what next we're doing is we are we drafting the the neckline so for the neckline i did um, 3.5 previously so mind you draft the measure the neckline from this point because this is the parallel one so every measurement i took was from this point after the zip allowance so what you next you're going to do is you mark the 3.5 for this and then the neckline for the back depending on you you can make it four you can make it any amount and then I want to call the best way you can get a curve right if you want a curve is at this point you rule a straight line out right and at this point right and then you would take one and a half inch upward which i did so it's because of i know that that's the measurement but that's the easiest way for those that can't do this freehand is for you to just take one and a half inch upward and then you mark and then you curve to meet this point so what next we're going to do after now is for us to cut the shapes out just cut the neck the neckline and cut the shoulder and the bodies So at this waistline, to avoid bulging at this waistline, you can go in by half an inch, you can go in by one inch, but I'm going in by half an inch. So this is the waistline. And then from this, from this point, you're trying to join it right from this point you join it to to the bust line to the zip line to the other straight points and then you just curve it a bit so
So this is it. This is the front. This is the back. And this is the back. And this is the front. So this is the back and this is the front. You're going to place your pattern on fold. You're going to always place your pattern on fold. This is just a single paper, but when you're cutting your clothes, you place your clothes on fold and place the pattern and cut two pieces for each. Right? Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you will create your pattern and you use it to make a dress or make a blouse. So if you want to use it to make a dress, it's just to um, a dress and with a half cut, it's just to stop at this waistline. If you want to use it to make a blouse, you're going to make the blouse length so it will be longer than this, right? Depending on the body size. So I hope you create your pattern and you create a dress. Please, if you make a dress with this pattern or you create your pattern, please do not forget to tag me or you send me a message on Instagram. My name, my name is D T H E O K E O G H E N E on Instagram. Thank you very much. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new, um, if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye. See you again in the next tutorial.